Well, working to preserve and protect exotic predators in the wild. In our newest series, Take This Job and Love It, I got a chance to hang out with the true kings and queens of the jungle. Hey guys, for today's job, we're at Turpentine Creek Wildlife Refuge in Eureka Springs where we're taking care of some lions, ligers, and bears. It's a job which requires a lot of compassion, providing lifetime refuge for abused, abandoned, and neglected big cats that have already been through so much. Meet Morgan Lazar, enrichment coordinator here on the animal care staff at Turpentine Creek, who has it all down to a perfect daily routine. And then we can do a regular exhibit rotation so you kind of get a feel as to uh, what the daily care is for these guys. There's a lot of stuff that goes behind the scenes besides just cleaning, but cleaning's kind of our first initiative every day. Okay. Cool. <laughs> all right. We start out with some seasonal enrichment, stimulating these big cats through sensory and play. In today's toy box, pumpkins. Um, so it's just something to give them a little bit extra to do. Uh, all these guys did come from a rescue situation. Most of them came from pretty um, rough conditions. A lot of them had never touched grass before, never had enrichment. So for them, it's a huge novelty. Then we spray a few scents of perfume on piles of leaves, surprise boxes, and scratching posts. This helps stimulate the tiger senses while at play. It's a true test because then we get to see which one they like more. <laughs> and look at them go. There are 90 different exotic animals here at Turpentine Creek who require specific meals. So now we head to the kitchen. Prepping meals for the animals is quite the task. Weighing out pounds of chicken, beef, turkey. Um, and then this is our triple A, so again, ground meat. <laughs> so we'll actually take this entire bin over, and this is where your hands get a little bit dirty. Um, and you'll basically just be grabbing four pounds of that triple A um, and adding it, so you want that number to say six up on their scale. Then adding the needed vitamins and nutrients for these animals to thrive. From the kitchen, we head to clean a lion's den, picking up what's left behind from the last feeding. Um, entirely picked clean. So if you're not prepping chicken um, and you're prepping butcher instead, this would have been about a 10-pound piece of meat, and they've taken all the meat. They've actually chewed down um, on the ribs and on the vertebrae, um, which is great for sharpening their teeth. Um, they just couldn't get through all that. <laughs> the dens are cleaned every other day, adding fresh mulch to the animal's heated hideaway. You're going to get in there? Yeah, and so we're actually going to shovel all that mulch, overturn it, see. <laughs> Um, what is filled with tea? Um, actually, separate the two and then go ahead and put dry, clean mulch in. There. And this is the only way in. This is the only way in. This was rough. The soiled mulch is used for on site composting. Oh, yeah, it's, it kills the nostrils. That's all in a day's work. And like you said, I mean, we, we love what we do. Every single part of it is for the animals, and just to see a happy cat rolling in a leaf pile is worth every sort of, you know, stress or yeah. back pain. <laughs> It takes a certain kind of person with a big heart to take this job and love it. All right, if you have a job you want to see me try out, email me at the address on your screen. You just may see your job feature right here on KNWA Today.